Hello everyone, I wanted to try to play another KGS game. I'm currently uh, 3Q, let's see. Uh, see if you guys can see that, you guys can't see it. But yeah, I'm currently 3Q question mark, so I need to win another game. And rank this up a little bit. Well, that did not take long at all. Let's just get this moved over here. He says GG, so hello. There we go. Let's play nice and simple. Don't let the don't let them have the cross opening. And uh, just a 4-4 four, four, and a 3-4, like I always do, of course. <laughs> Let's see if he does enclosure. Oh, he wants to approach first. There's nothing really wrong with that. Lately, I've actually been liking the knight's move a little bit more than the Kosumi. So I want to try the knight's move here. I need to play it more often so I can get used to it. See if I actually do prefer it. Or if it's just me not knowing enough about the Kosumi. Three spaces here is a little bit, a little bit loose. But I'm not going to worry too much about it. I think approaching the 3-4 here is bigger for now. So let's do that. Uh, the opening doesn't really matter too much. You can kind of play what you want. I'm trying to get good at doing that. But I still get the urge to try to do whatever's the best thing for the opening, right? But just complete the local fighting and you should be good. So this would be just a two space extension here. Perfectly acceptable. Hmm. And he wants to pressure the group. So the sort of common way to deal with this would be sort of the kick, and then you do this knight's move here, and you just protect locally. Though he did play a three space here, so this is actually going to be slightly better for him. So I don't know if I like that as much. So I think what I want to do instead is leave this and see what he can do to it. And I will just approach his corner instead. I'm going to treat this flexibly. Let's see if we can learn how to do that in this game. He should probably, he doesn't have to pincer, but pincering would simplify the game for him a lot. Yeah, there we go. And I can just take the corner and that should be fine. There we go. Basic Joseki here. I don't need to worry about this stone at all. And I just play normal. And then he defended too. Okay. Um, so normally if you're going to defend here, I believe the solid connection is slightly better because you then don't have to worry about any sort of liberty issues with these stones here. And now that he has a lot stronger in the area, I definitely do want to go back and protect. Since he doesn't want to try to do anything directly, I can just make sure my group is alive and safe. I want to do the knight's move because uh, I don't want to jump up here. Because if I just kick and then jump, I don't like it as much. Hmm, okay. I can just stay strong here. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Uh, this is usually a bad exchange because all it does is reduce... Uh, Maybe it doesn't reduce Black's liberties too much, but it doesn't really do anything. And there is still the, uh, still some Aji that was there. But in this case, looks like I can just block. I'm not exactly sure what he is trying to do. Um, that's just really small. If he takes that, my corner's still alive. I'm still out towards the center. This is this is like early, mid uh, like end gamey sort of stuff. So I'm perfectly happy to. Take my corner enclosure. Now my opponent is 4Q. Oh, the players did not... There we go. That was my bet. The players did not fix itself on OGS when I said... On OGS, on OBS when I told them to. So you didn't get to see the time as it was going down. That's probably not too important anyway. So he's threatening to play at S15 here. So I could come out or I could bump and just take Zente. He is sort of building here in the center. So I don't mind bumping here. But it makes him a little bit stronger. Sure, I think I think I would rather have Sente. So I don't want to let him get S15. 
So I will just bump. And we could jump out towards the center. Um, but we can also just play another big move somewhere. There is a lot of center potential here. So I am tempted to just jump here, which sort of preemptively helps with anything that goes on later on. Could also do some sort of Kosumi, sort of running towards this side. But the jump is also threatening an invasion on the left. So I think I'm just going to jump towards the center. This center strength should help with dealing with reducing later on. Normally, you could also just play the third move for the corner in the bottom left. But I want to try to make sure that I have enough of a presence in the center that I don't have to worry about it. Ah, so he wants to push me down here. Hmm. That's probably a good idea. Just keep building everything, right? I will just stay connected. He doesn't want to invade. I think invading is a little bit easier than uh, pushing like this. Okay. Okay. Uh, the corner is alive, and he just wants to attack these stones, I guess. Okay, he just wants to come over the top. If I Hane here, what can he do? He cuts, I Atari, and I push. He potentially gets more on the top here. If he double Hanes, then I can potentially push through. But I'm just going to capture and not worry about it. Get rid of all Aji and see what he decides to do. Extending would be the solid, strong move here. Um, mm, just going to build. Okay. So what happens if I Hane here now? He's not going to worry about it. He does have an issue in his shape here, but he's just not worried. Okay. So now we have to decide, I guess, who is winning before I jump in or do anything. We should do a basic count, right? So like 20 points for these two corners, which is pretty good. So like 50 points, I guess. 50 points for white. So what does black have? Black has some potential over here. Like maybe we can say like 25 points here, and then, then that would mean that he has to have at least 25 points over here as well. We do one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, one two, three, four, and a five here. So that's at least around like a 25-point area. So... I can still build a little bit over here and I can still invade on this left side. So it's possible I want to keep pushing here because I do have this cutting point. So actually, I think I will do that. I'm just going to push one last time. And then I will invade on the left side here. If he doesn't respond, I can Hane and double Hane. And there is a lot of Aji here for him. And then, yes, we just need to invade on the left here. I already sort of threatened it when I jumped out, and he decided that it wasn't a big enough deal. So we have a couple options. We could try to get some more influence. Um, or we can just live easier. So let's play the simple move, the B13. He protects on the outside, then I can connect underneath. OK. This makes it really simple for me. Now he has a potential weak group here. This group is weak, and so we do want to attack it. Let's just jump here. I want to jump a little bit further if I can, so I can be ahead of black to some degree. Peeping at his shape. It looks like we can just push through here, which he probably doesn't want us to do. So let's do it. Okay. So we can at least push one more time here to make sure he can't turn there in Zente. And we can probably push even one more time to make sure, uh, or to, to weaken his group a little bit. Let's do it. And then over on this side, we can just do a... Uh, we don't want him to Atari and come out. 
So we want to play a very slow move here to connect things. So I'm going to play this tiger's mouth type shape. So now he needs to make sure to go back and live with his group, which should be possible. He just has to be careful. Through living, we should be able to make a couple more points on this left side here, or on this bottom side here. Atari, okay. The Atari is really bad for his shape. I'm just going to... I need to make sure this group is fine. So I'm just going to jump first. It's nice and simple that way. But this Atari was a really bad exchange because it prevents him from being able to play something like E11 and Sente, or potentially Sente, right? Because if I don't respond, he just pushes and he can cut me, and there's a lot of Aji there. This one is interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a misread or not. If he throws in here, I just capture. If he cuts, I just connect. So if he throws in, I capture. He connects underneath, I capture. He has to connect here, and then I just connect again still. So there's not quite anything there. So what we probably want to do is we can uh, get rid of his eye space here. So let's do that. He should have played at C8 instead of this. Uh, looks like we can peep here and connect on the outside like this. His, this peeping move was quite bad as well. Another maybe misread. Okay. There's no cutting points. He can peep all he wants, but it doesn't change anything about the life and death of his group. Life and death is the more important part right now. Just keep, just stay connected. Looks good. And there is potential to push and cut, but we want to play this move first at C9, threatening to Hane on this side instead. If he connects back, then we can push and cut. So we want to just stay connected first. And I'm probably going in for a little bit more of a kill with this group because he played uh, wrong here. I could just capture. So I think maybe it was a misread for him. Oh, nice. This gives me this move that I really want to play at uh, C9 here, threatening to Hane and cut everything off. He does likely have one eye here now because he has this uh, A13 move, and the connection is Sente as well. Hmm. This is uh, most definitely a mistake, right? Uh, but I guess he's just going to switch and live on the bottom instead. So I guess I can Hane one time. He's probably going to play this bump, right? And mm, do I need to do anything special, this connection, for example? Uh, probably not. I can probably just play this one. This cutting point doesn't seem to do anything. He still needs to come back and defend his other threat, his other cut. So what he's doing here, I'm guessing, is he wanted to try to protect Incente. But he isn't able to do that, so I'm able to just cut off the other side. Since he's never protected, I get to take at least some profit. We'll see what else I can get here. But instead of doing anything over here, unless there's something he can read, uh, he should probably continue on the bottom here now. Do I have any problems here? I don't think so. So it looks like I can just block. The reason why he doesn't necessarily want to do this now is because of the amount of liberties on his stones. But it should be mostly okay. Not too big of a deal. He just needs to defend on the bottom now. It seems a little bit difficult to live there. But we can show that he just he just played a little bit uh, maybe a misread or a bit greedy on his left side with this move here at B12. Without that move, if he just played the simple move to make a base, I probably just had to surround him. But in this case, I get to just be fine here. Mm, this is a very, very questionable move. Uh, 10 seconds. 1, 2... Three, Looks like I can four, actually five, haunt in the inside, six, but seven, I'm going to haunt in the outside to make sure I don't have any weakness here. If I haunt in the inside, he can't cut me because he doesn't have enough eight, liberties. Nine, oh, I will. <laughs> Ten seconds. One. I will just connect. I'm being very, very nice. I'm just going to connect. This is all okay. 
He's being a little bit too aggressive here. I'm guessing he wants to cut here now. Yep. But this doesn't work. This group is alive. There's nothing for me to worry about here. And he's not alive on the other side. If we want to keep it very simple, I can at the very least cut here. If he connects, I can cut here. If he Atari's me, ten seconds. One. I just capture. Two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I want to play this side first. He has the double Atari here. Uh, the other side looks like it might ten be One, Co. Two, but there's also shortage of three, liberties, so. Four, Five, Let's just play a, a six, simpler, seven, even more simpler eight, variation. Nine. <laughs> even more simple. Hmm. My sword just fell apart here Ten when it came seconds. to reading. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Going to push down here. Uh. Ten seconds. One. We might as well just take this Atari. Oh. Capture. Hmm. I didn't know he was okay with this. I guess that's fine. I guess we want to Atari One, from this side, maybe? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. There's a lot of reading to do here. Uh, we'll just capture these stones. It should be fine. I think if he Atari's here, I capture and he comes out. These stones are still captured. Even if he goes this seconds. diagonal, One. it doesn't seem to really do anything. And this is uh, almost an eye, I guess. So he's trying to make his two eyes here. Ten seconds. One. I don't mind two, three. just Atari-ing here. He's going to capture maybe. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four. Five, it's actually a lot to read six, here. Seven, eight, nine. Ah, that one. That's interesting. Just capture again, and then I can just connect here, so he doesn't have any eyes. I like that seconds. he's trying stuff, One, but it's a little two, difficult for him. Three, four. Uh, this is not Sente or anything. Um, the Atari's here. I just connect. The Atari's here. I capture. And there's no seconds. way to do anything. One, so I can just Hane here and make sure he has no eyes. Make sure there's nothing hidden anywhere. Seconds. Okay. Uh, okay, I just connect. Simple bamboo joint. Uh, I guess he's just trying to make as many points as is possible now, but it might be a little bit too late for that. Ten seconds. So I want One, to two, three. jump out this way. He still has some potential weakness here. So let's just slowly reduce the rest of the board. 10 seconds. One, two. Okay. Let's just capture these stones. I guess that's good enough for me. That's a good amount of points already. And he still has to capture this stone. 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm just going to capture directly. And then it looks like it's a little bit of Aji places, but we can probably just play end game, honestly. 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4. I so think we can maybe get this peep here. Maybe pretty large for me to capture these. Okay. 
that was a mistake for sure. Uh, just connecting would be better or just tanukiing would be better. But now he made this Ten bigger, seconds. so he has to respond. One, two, and made me three. stronger so I can jump over here. Okay. Um, I have a couple options, I guess. Ten seconds. One. I can probably just play this one. This stone isn't important at all, so even if he Atari's, Ten I just give seconds. it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah. Hmm, can I do this one? It's a little bit questionable, so I probably shouldn't. Instead, I can just Ten do seconds. a nice Hane here. He should maybe respond, honestly. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four. Um, hmm. If I capture this way. Oh, wait, this is dead. So I don't need Ten to worry seconds. about it. Instead of him capturing properly, this is uh, making it bad for him. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Uh, cutting here does nothing. Cutting here, Ten I capture it. Is this a One, nothing? Two, three, four, so, five, looks like I get to play six. more in game. Let's see what his plan is. I captured these stones in the center, Ten so there's seconds. no cutting. Ah, uh, he resigned. Okay. Yes, thank you for the game. Now I've made it to 2Q. Thanks to my 4Q friend here. Uh, there's only one thing that you really have to pay attention to for this game if we go to review here. And it was, oh, maybe we can shift click because this is KGS. Very beautiful, very beautiful. This move, it just doesn't do anything. If this move was Sinte, this would be fine. But because I don't have to worry about that and because my corner is alive, uh, there's just nothing to do here. Maybe the slide isn't the best move for me to play, but I just needed to get rid of some of his um, eye space. So I played the slide here. What he should be playing, of course, is just a move like this. This is fine. He could also try to do an attachment to try to get a little bit more or play this uh, slide here himself. There's a lot of Aji, but it's not too big of a deal. The real uh, other mistake, <laughs> it's not just the real one, but the other mistake was playing this Atari. This Atari just makes me stronger and reduces his own liberties. And he didn't even do anything with it. I would assume if you play this Atari that you're going to be haunting on this side. This is still not good, but this makes a lot more sense. As sort of the natural progression, right? Without this, if he... Uh, what, what, what happened in the game? That move, okay. <laughs> I already lost track what it was. If he plays this move like he did in the game, then I jump, he plays this, and I try to get rid of his eye space here, right? Uh, it seems like there's enough space for him to live, but he doesn't want to live in Gote, so he might be able to play a move like this. If I don't respond, and I try to kill him, I don't know if I can, but I don't respond, right? There is a push and a cut and potential problem with the outside. So that move is way more useful. Like at this point, let's say he wants to live, so he plays this Atari. That was probably the worst move he could play. Well, maybe not the worst, right? But it's one of the bad moves that he would have had to play to potentially kill himself here. Now, maybe there's a way for me to play a bit more aggressively to get rid of eye space here, but just doing the simple moves, right? If he just lives, let's say this variation here where he was just alive, and I respond. Well, let's give him one more move because score estimate here is very bad. If we use a score estimate, uh, it still says it's dead. All right. <laughs> I guess I need to play the wrong saving move here. Let's do this one. All right, score estimate, tell me, tell me, there we go, there we go. It's saying that white is a little bit ahead. 
if I'm able to play good end game, then I'm probably fine here. If he has to live in Gote like this, I'm very likely able to get these points on the bottom. He still gets a lot of points here. And he has uh, some things that he has to worry about. So like this turn here is probably important. There is this Hane and connect. He probably needs to connect here himself. And then there is this really big end game over here. At this point, if we figure out the score again, hopefully score estimate works, uh, it just says I'm ahead by 10 points and the points look a lot more natural now. So <laughs> uh, score estimate might actually be correct this time. But I'm probably ahead at least by five points because score estimate's crap. So before heading out though, I want to say a quick thank you to the people who are supporting me on Patreon. So I'm going to be starting to post more stuff on Patreon. In fact, I just posted today or yesterday, last night maybe, a new progress video for my own personal progress in playing Go and what I'm going to be focusing on from now on. So if you guys want to check that out, go check out the Patreon and join these lovely people as well. So have a good day, everyone, and have fun.